Hey guys, Brian from Thunder Laser USA. So I wanted to go over something I've had a couple of questions about and it has to do with these sensor flags for the X and Y axis. And what happens is the way the controller knows where the origin is, uh, is these flags break these optical sensors right here, break the beams. And that's what sends information to the controller that it's reached its extent and that's how it homes itself so this is the y-axis sensor and if you'll notice when you break the sensor you'll get an LED indicator <clears throat> not only that if you go to diagnoses on the control panel let me back out and I'll show you hit the ZU button and go down until you get to diagnoses and hit enter and you'll see some of these are red and some of them aren't as you make and break those sensors they'll come on here they'll start turning red so you can get a buddy and have him monitor the panel and then you can come over here and make and break these optical sensors to test them and look for the LED here so you want to make sure and I would check them every once in a while and I would tighten them up so that's just one thing in your PM that you need to be checking and if you have any weird uh, anomalies where the y-axis won't move forward or x won't move or something like that before you assume it's a motor or a driver check your homing sensors uh, your end stops and uh, and then power off the machine after you check them now when you align these things <coughs> you need to make sure that when it goes all the way back it will break that connection and you also need to make sure that the sensor flag does not come in contact uh, it needs to be dead center as close as you can get it to center where it won't rub the sensor or crash into it. So, hope that helps. Until next time, Brian with Thunder Laser USA.